Now, early in the show, uh, Shauna Hunt brought you the story of a married couple from the Bloor West Village area accused of recording the sexual abuse of children and animals and posting it online. A look now at the completely legal websites they visited to find people with the same vile desires. Online hunting grounds. The website names pretty much say it all. Bondage.com, slavefarm.com, collarspace.com, and fetlife.com. Websites filled with the deepest and darkest of fantasies. Police allege the husband and wife duo now up on child porn and bestiality charges would scour these sites to find like-minded people, meet them, and make child porn videos. We do not believe the fetish websites um, were involved in this. We're not saying that these websites are illegal in any way. Um, these are just websites that these individuals used um, to meet other people and talk with other people. The websites may not be illegal, but criminal profiler Jim Van Allen on Skype with us says they can be a rehearsal space for crimes. Sexual offenders that are fantasy motivated tend to have the most victims. And those are the ones that are compelled to commit uh, over and over again uh, and have the greatest number of offenses and the greatest number of victims as well. Jessica O'Reilly is a PhD sex expert. Do websites like this normalize a behavior where people who are messed up will look at that and think, okay, this is a fantasy world, but I'm gonna take it into the reality world? Well, this is where the debate lies. Do these websites normalize a behavior and encourage people to act upon it? We really don't have any evidence to support that. There is, however, a small degree of evidence suggesting that by having an outlet in which to live out these simulated fantasies, it could potentially have the impact that you don't act upon them. Partners in life who are also partners in crime are relatively rare. Bernardo and Homolka, the killers of Kristen French and Leslie Mahaffey. Rafferty and McClintock, who abducted and murdered Tory Stafford. Bogdanovich and McGregor, who also frequented FetLife.com and planned their murder of a Sarnia school teacher. It is more rare to see uh, men and women involved uh, together in uh, sexual crimes. There's uh, women sexual offenders are much more infrequent than males. Uh, but one of the uh, categories of female sex offenders are those that sexually offend because they're involved with a male partner that sexually offends. In charges against the one man and three women today, uh, police would not say just how many children had been abused or their ages, but we can tell you that within an hour of that police news conference, more tips had already started coming in.